what's up, y'all? So today I'm going to be doing a day in the life of on-demand auto detail. I don't do much uh, day in the lives. I don't think I ever did one. I think I did a reel before, but that's about it. But today I'm going to do one. So ride along with me. Peace. So what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? So check this out. I'm going to take y'all on a little... You know what I'm saying? Day in the life of on-demand auto detail. Um, as I said before, I don't do much of these. Uh, so I decided I'm going to try to come up with a topic to speak about as I do these details. You know what I mean? So I want y'all to ride along with me. And um, we're going to see what's up. So yeah, so I think today I'm going to talk to you guys about um mobile detailing well detailing period versus the car wash i know this has been an interesting topic and there's a lot of detailers out there that's going to tell you um especially consumers they're going to tell the consumers that everybody in the world should be detailing their car and i'm here to tell you all not everybody should be detailing their car or not everybody wants to be detailing their car. I'm not saying them doing it personally, but not everybody want to pay $150 to get their cars detailed, $250 to get their cars detailed, $350. I don't care what you're charging. Not everybody want to pay that and not everybody needs it. You feel me? So I feel like today's topic is going to be based around that because a lot of detailers, what I've been watching is the way they slander car washes, like the tunnel washes and things of that nature. And me personally, um, I'm against it, but that's because I'm a detailer and that's because I have vehicles that I actually like, you know, care about, you know, but for the average person they're in a lease or a finance and they're going to be returning that vehicle or they're going to be swapping it out or they're in a daily that they don't really you know value to the point where they feel like they have to get it hand washed by a detailer or by any car washer upwards of 35 to 40 dollars all the time you know detailing could be a once in a blue thing and that's fine i'm tired of y'all detailers making it seem like people is obligated to use your service. People are not obligated to use your service. And I'm going to keep it real with you because I haven't done the math, but I damn near could say maybe 70, 80% of people driving in America don't really care or want to spend that type of money on their vehicle. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get out that mindset that, oh, we have to appeal to everybody. You can't appeal to everybody. Not everybody wants um, what, what you're offering. So I think that's going to be the, the, the gist of today's topic. I needed something to talk about. And that, that topic has been burning me for the past maybe two, three months. I know I haven't posted in a while. Y'all forgive me. But um, we're going to talk about this. Y'all detailers that keep knocking the tunnel washes, I don't know why y'all knocking it. It's successful. You know what I'm saying? For the, the, the people that own it, you know, it's making money, you know. And not everybody could afford what you're offering. So you need to get into the mindset of either you're going to cater and offer services to the average person or just stop, you know, downplaying what what them other car washes is doing. And if somebody is a detailer and they're offering car washes, I'm tired of y'all knocking them too because I offer car washes. My car washes start at $55. I can't expect everybody to go pay $55 for a car wash, especially those people. There's some people that do like their cars clean, but they don't want to spend uh, 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 $110 um, every month to get their cars clean so am i going to knock that person for that no that makes no sense so 
let's stop that and 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 we could push the culture forward by not having to bash other uh other businesses you know what i'm saying so that's gonna be the topic today you're gonna come around along with me for this wash and then um i'm gonna break it down to you so i'm on location and we're gonna start shooting and we i, I got you bro so i'm on location today and this is how we're gonna get the day started y'all see the y'all see the project Let's go. That's the car we're going to be doing. Let's see if I get some clarity. First car for the day. I'm just trying to see where you come from all night. I've been kicking it and now I want some. Miss goody goody with the yum yum Girl you so pretty now, come in with your bum bum I'm just tryna see where you come from All night I've been kicking it and now I want some Miss goody goody with the yum yum Miss goody goody where you come from Love it when you winding up your bum bum Ain't no competition girl you done won Cock it up, do it to the drum Miss pretty pretty, love the way you shake Know you got good taste cause you came in with the cake Don't back talk no more than a waste when I get you from the back. That's how I put you in your place. Get the cream, yeah, we on it. Get a lick, I ain't talking money score. All right. So, boom. Check it out. Like I said, we're going to be talking about the tunnel washes versus having a detailer dedicated to washing your vehicle. We're going to start off by saying tunnel washes are for who they're for not everybody wants or care about getting their car detailed or getting their car hand wash for example a lot of elderly people they don't have the time to be sitting here waiting for a detailer to wash the car for an hour plus you know what I'm saying? Like, my mom don't really care that I will be washing her car and preventing it from getting swirled up. Your mom probably don't even care about that. So, if we're going to be real, the average person does not care about that. So, what's up, man? So... So who are we to say that the tunnel washes is messing up the cars or is doing X, Y, Z? It makes no sense to say that because though you care about it, there's a larger percent of the population that don't. So if y'all feel a way about this topic, I definitely want to hear what you got to say. Why? Because as a detailer, I do know what's good, man. Good. How are you? Good. All right. Yeah, so as a detailer, I do know that the benefits of detailing and having your car properly by a professional detailer. I do know that. So all of y'all that's going to be saying something to me about this, y'all not doing nothing but preaching to the choir. Now, but being a realist, I do understand as well that there's not a lot of people that's gonna be willing to spend that type of money. Nor do they understand the benefits of what a detail uh, entails. And even if they do understand, another thing too, we got, we got to know, even if they understand what it entails, doesn't mean that that's what they want to 
they want to do on the regular. Because let's be real, we're not cheap, y'all. A lot of y'all that's detailers, y'all are breaking, y'all are breaking certain poverties from y'all lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all that's detailers, detailing made it made a way for you to be able to obtain money. So think about your financial status before detailing and before this opportunity to make money. So think about that and be real and say, would you spend $55 on a regular basis, $65, $100 on a regular basis to detail your car? So let's be... It's time for us to start being real, y'all. The average person is not spending that. So I want to cut the the talk about that. Oh, everybody needs their car detailed. Oh, the tunnel washes are harming the vehicles. Yes, they are. But so is cigarettes. Cigarettes harm people's bodies. You think they care? (laughs) You know what I mean? Like... 90% of us is doing something that's harmful to our body, but we do it anyway. To eat clean is very expensive. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of us are not doing that. So are we wrong? Yes, in a sense. But can we understand it? Yes. So why not have the same grace for those folks that's going, why not have the same grace for those folks that's detailing how they detail? I mean, that's uh, that's getting their car wash, how they get their car wash. You know, it's one thing to knock the business. I don't like that either. I don't like when y'all knock the, the car washes. But it's another thing to knock the clients that's going to said business. So let me know what y'all think about this topic. I'm about to get busy on this detail. I do want to hear y'all takes on it. It is something, like I said, that's been on my mind for quite some time. And um, I want to know what y'all think. So... I'm about to go into a time lapse and uh, so I can get this detail done. Ready, set, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girl, you're so pretty now, tell me what you're bum bum. I'm just trying to see where you come from. All night I've been kicking it and now I want some. Miss Goody Goody with the yum yum Girl, you so pretty now, come in with your bum bum I'm just tryna see where you come from All night I've been kicking it and now I want some Miss Goody Goody with the yum yum Miss Goody Goody where you come from Love it when you winding up your bum bum Ain't no competition, girl, you done won Cock it up, do it to the drum Miss Pretty Pretty, love the way you shape Know you got good taste, cause you came in with the cake Don't back talk, no more than a waste When I get you from the back, that's how I put you in your place Get the cream, yeah, we on it Get a lick, I ain't talking money scoring I got a taste in, lady, now I'm all in I tell her, baby, I ain't leaving till the morning I said, mm, ah, baby, yeah You want a nigga that's gon' take you there I tell her, baby, we can take it anywhere I got a spot that's in the hills that we can share, yeah Girl, you so pretty now, tell me what your bum bum I'm just tryna see where you come from All night, I've been kicking it and now I want some Miss Goody Goody with the yum yum Girl, you so pretty now, come in with your bum bum I'm just tryna see where you come from All night, I've been kicking it and now I want some Miss Goody Goody with the yum yum Body on my body, yeah, I like that Give me a little taste, I'm coming right back And you know you don't even have to hold back I want you to know that you can wine for me Spend a little time with me Baby, it's just you and me I'm about to lose control Alright, so I'm finally finished with this detail And my final words is 
basically, let's stop trashing the small car washes or the tunnel washes as detailers. In this game, one thing you got to realize is there's room for everybody to eat. There's billions of cars. You know, certain households have five, six cars in one household. So, yeah, dad might want to have a detailer detail his car, but it doesn't necessarily mean that mom wants to. You know what I'm saying? So, the kids, kids 18, 19, when they first start driving, oftentimes they don't really care about having their car detailed. They just want a clean car, run it through the car wash, and go about their day. So, we really need to stop these antics of bashing the tunnel washes. I get it. And trust me, I'm going to I'm going to be clear with you. I understand. Yes, the tunnel washes is a the tunnel washes is, you know, bad for the paint. It does induce uh scratches and swirls. But again, I'm going to keep banging this in your head. Not everybody cares about that. Not everybody is worried if, you know what I'm saying, their paint gets scratched and swirled. And oftentimes, a lot of these car washes have upgraded a lot of their materials, a lot of their whatever they're using. Um, they've upgraded them. So they're not, uh, they're not applying that much scratches and swirls to the average person, uh, to where the average person will be really concerned. And again, I'm going to keep drilling this into your head. There's a lot of people who really don't care about scratches and squirrels simply because they're bringing the car back. Let's be real, y'all. They're bringing the car back. They're in a the lease. They're in a the finance. They don't really care. Like, I, I, I don't know how much time I'm going to keep saying that, but speak to 20 people on your block, 20 people in your neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, and ask them. Like, hey, I charge this amount. Is this mandatory for you? Because that's what detailing is. It comes down to, is it a need? You know what I mean? Like this car right here. I'm going to show y'all the afters. But he needed it. It's been in the shop. It's been down. His wife took it on road trips. So it's kind of been going about maybe three, four months of neglect. So he don't mind spending the money for that. But... Guess what? I may not hear from him to spend that type of money again for the next maybe six months, maybe next year. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's cool. He's going to run it through the car wash, maybe uh, have a little shop back at his house, and he's going to vac it out here and there. And when they do another road trip again, guess what? He's going to call me. So detailers, understand your position. So if, you, if you're upset that your client stopped calling you or didn't call you in the past year, you can't say that they don't care about their car. Stop trashing them saying that, oh, they, 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 they don't care about their car. Because guess what? You're right. They don't. That's the last thing they're worried about. They want to go spend a buck fifty on, you know, their insurance. They want to spend a buck fifty on their kids' daycare. They're paying for other stuff that they don't have to be dishing out this type of money to us all the time. Be happy you even got customers. That's the moral of the story. Be happy you even got a few people that's willing to pay this type of money. And stop watching these detailers who's hyping you up, saying, oh, you should charge more, you should this. No. Charge what you're willing to accept. Charge what the market around you, what, what falls in the market around you. Charge what your demographic is willing to pay on a consistent basis. And if they call you for detailing, take it. If they call you for car washing, take it. My car wash is $55. It's a wash outside, tire shine, vacuum, wipe down on the inside, $55. But guess what? Somebody calls me and say, hey, that's a little bit too much, and my car just came from the dealership or whatever the case may be. Can you give me a better price? Which is another thing I'm going to speak about. Give a better price. It doesn't hurt. Yo, you know what? Your car is not that bad on part inspection. Yeah, give me $35. It's, that's fine, too. You know, you could stick to your prices. That's cool. I'm not going to knock whoever does that, but give them a better price if it's not that bad. We're in a service-based business. We're serving. You understand that? So stop being so hell-bent on, 
oh, this person um, charges $300 and he's a big detailer or this, that, and the third, and I have to do the same because that's what he's telling me on YouTube. Man, stop it. Stop it. Forget about all of that because what's going to end up happening is you're going to find yourself caught where he's in California in his neighborhood, the general medium home income is $180,000 and you're going to try to compete with him or try to match him and charge the people in your house, in your area where the average household income is $40,000 and asking them for $300 for a detail. Does that really make sense? Look at your area, look at your neighborhood, look at your community. If there's more than three family dollars within two minutes of your house, you shouldn't be charging three, four hundred dollars for a detail. You know what I'm saying? Like, or market to an area that don't have these things. Market to an area that has that type of disposable income. And let me be clear, because I've done it and I'm around it. I've done many millionaires' cars. I'm going to be clear and be real with you. They don't want to spend that much either. You know what I mean? Like, let me tell you where I get most of my... um. Uh, detail clients that want to spend whatever car shows and I'm gonna leave it on that note let me finish up and I'm gonna bring y'all in so y'all can see this detail go to car shows them people they care about their cars they are so susceptible to paying because they want to be the best car looking at the car show bam now you so pretty now tell me what your bum bum I'm just trying to see where you come from all night I've been kicking it and now I want some Miss goody goody with the yum yum Girl you so pretty now, come in with your bum bum I'm just tryna see where you come from All night I've been kicking it and now I want some Miss goody goody with the yum yum Miss goody goody where you come from Love it when you winding up your bum bum Ain't no competition girl you done won Cocky top the ways of the drum bum Miss pretty pretty, love the way you shake Know you got good taste cause you came in with the cake Don't back talk no more time to waste when I get you from the back. That's how I put you in your place. Get the green, yeah, we on it. Hit a lick, I ain't talking money scoring. I got a taste in, lady, now I'm all in. I tell her, baby, I ain't leaving till the morning. I said, ah, baby, yeah, you want an